Hey, good afternoon. This is Coach Pam from Coach Pam Fitness. I am trying to figure out how to get this to uh, look better. Anyway, I hope you can hear me. I'm outside. I'm going to try and talk a little louder. Lots of people are cutting their grass because it is a glorious day here on the East Coast of Maryland. Anyway, I've had a lot of questions lately about clean eating. What is it? And if it's another diet, forget about it. I am not doing it because I've tried all the diets. There's someone cutting the grass right next to me. Anyway, clean eating, let me just preface, is not a diet. It's a lifestyle. It's, I'll get into what exactly it is um, in a minute, but clean eating is basically going back to our roots, back to the way our ancestors ate, avoiding processed, prepackaged foods, eating foods that are real, that are whole, that are nutrient dense, that fuel our body the way our body needs to be fueled. I tell this all the time to uh, my clients, you have a really nice car, why would you put cheap gas in it? You wouldn't. You would spend the money to fuel your car properly. So why would you not fuel your body properly? Your body is like your car. It's the only body you're getting. Only, the only difference is you can get a new car. You can't get a new body. So we have to treat it with respect. And with, um, I forgot to turn off my notifications and my friends are messaging me right and left. Sorry about that. But you wouldn't... You wouldn't give your car cheap gas, so why would you give your body cheap processed fuel? So clean eating is going back to eating fruits and vegetables, whole grains, um, lean meats, lean protein, not and avoiding the inner perimeter of the grocery store where you get the boxed orange day glow macaroni and cheese. I know, I know, I know. My kids, when I try to make homemade macaroni and cheese, well, they're better about it now because they're older, but when they were little, oh my goodness, you thought I was feeding them dog food if I made, gave them homemade macaroni and cheese. It was ridiculous. Same with homemade um, chicken nuggets. They thought I was feeding them, especially my youngest, thought I was feeding them dog food. He would cry. He would cry because he wanted frozen nuggets, not the homemade delicious ones that I was making. So it's different now because they're older and they're used to homemade stuff now. It takes time to get your body, your family, and your taste buds used to homemade foods because, let's be honest, prepackaged food has so many chemicals in it that it dulls our taste buds so we don't actually know what food tastes like until you start eating clean and fueling your body with nutritious food. So clean eating also means, like I said, cutting back from the refined grains, refined, there's a big truck coming by, sorry, live, live video, don't you love it? Um, and it's getting away from the food additives and preservatives that you have absolutely no idea what they are and you can't even pronounce them because they're chemicals, they're artificial, they were not meant to be in our food. So our bodies were designed millions of years ago to eat whole fresh foods and meats and it's only been in the last maybe 100 years that we've started eating processed, chemical loaded foods. And our bodies are not designed to digest it. They don't know what to do with it. So that's why we have all of this inflammation, leaky gut, digestive issues, because our body doesn't know what it is. It hasn't had the time to evolve into being able to eat that. And really, would you want your body to evolve into be eating chemicals? No, you don't. You want We want our digestion to stay the way it was created and meant to be. 
So clean eating, got off topic a little bit, sorry about that. Clean eating is a way of fueling our body with whole, natural, delicious food. So what does that mean? Number one, first and foremost, it's not a diet. Trust me, I have tried them all. I look like you don't have any hair because it's so sunny out. Anyway, sorry, sidetrack, shiny objects. Anyway, um, it's a lifestyle. You need to look at this as a lifestyle change, not a diet. Diet is a four letter word that we don't like. You need to stop being obsessive about and stop throwing everything out that you love because you can and should have treats because if you limit you need to get the words limit and restrict out of your diet also because moderation can be part of a clean eating plan a clean eating lifestyle so what you want to do first is take control of your life you should never feel hungry or deprived on anything you do. And if you fall off your clean eating lifestyle, yeah, you get back on. You brush yourself off, you wipe the slate clean, and you move on. So what you need to do first, doesn't matter if you're cutting carbs, if you're eating a ton of carbs, if you are on the high fat, low carb meal plan, if you are paleo or intermittent fasting, you need to load up on fresh produce. Shop the perimeter and buy what is in season. Go to your local farmer's market. I love our farmer's market. I'm so excited that it's open again. So you go, you buy produce that's in season so it's cheaper. You don't need to buy off season expensive items. You need to have tons of vegetables because vegetables provide you the dietary fiber and the prebiotics that will help heal your gut and help you digest food and make sure you get all the nutrients out of that food that you're eating. Um, let's see, you need, like I said, shop the perimeter. So usually on the perimeter of the grocery store you have the um, produce, the meat department, and the dairy department. That's where you shop first. That's not to say that um, you can't shop the insides, but you need to watch what you're shopping for. Like beans are great, legumes, um, but you want to steer clear of jarred spaghetti sauce. You can make your own spaghetti sauce by getting canned, I've already talked about this, by getting canned um, San Marzano tomatoes and make your own sauce. It's gonna take you a little bit of time at first to figure out how to shop, and it's gonna take you a little bit of time to figure out how to cook, but once you get in the habit of it, just like anything, once you get in the habit of it, it's not gonna take you much time at all. Um, let's see. Also, if you're in Maryland, we don't have this, but um, in, I know like in Ohio and stuff, the perimeter also has the alcohol aisle, and in Maryland you don't, you can't buy alcohol in a grocery store. But, um, so I'm not talking about shopping that perimeter. However, wine is good for you. I will just say that. You can have a glass of wine every now and then. You need to eliminate, for a clean eating lifestyle, eliminate added sugars. So that means, again, reading the labels to find out if there's added sugar. We don't need added sugar. You don't need added sugar in spaghetti sauce. You don't need added sugar in... <sighs> I don't know, everything has added sugar. You don't need the added sugar. You need to declare war on sugar. Sugar is the enemy. It is creates a chemical reaction in your brain just like crack, just like, um, sorry, I hit my the table with my knee, that hurt. Anyway, it's like the chemical reaction that your brain has on sugar is the same as it has on cocaine and heroin, and that's scary like super scary. Also, when you have added sugar, you get that energy spike and then you get a sudden crash. So when you start eating clean and reducing your sugar, when your body is adjusted to that less sugar, you're not gonna have those spikes and it's a wonderful thing. Um, drink lots more water. 
sit down when you eat. We are all so busy, and this is another tip that's in the, I don't know if you've been following me with the um, Blue Zone solutions. This is what centenarians do with each and every meal. They sit down with family and they eat slowly and they have a community surrounding them while they're eating. And that is so important because we as a nation are so overbooked, overstressed, and always on the go that we shovel our food in our mouths and that leads to poor digestion, it leads to indigestion, reflux, just a slew of health problems. It release, When you're eating and you're stressed out, your digestion slows down, you release cortisol, which, hold, which holds on to belly fat. So you just can't scarf down food. Plus, with a clean eating diet, you can't scarf down a fast food burger in the car. Because, well, I mean, you're not going to feel that good about it anyway, but... If, and if you can't like sit down with people and share a meal, have a space that you sit down and eat where you're not distracted. S take your time, put your hands in your lap in between bites, chew your food, think about your food. How does it make you feel? How do you, how does it taste? We sometimes are eat so fast we don't even, we forget to taste our food and that's not, that's not healthy. We need to taste our food and learn how wonderful whole foods can actually taste. Um, let's see, then you also, like I said, don't buy food with ingredients you can't pronounce. It's just all chemicals and our bodies are not good for it. And last but not least, you need to stop counting calories, stop restricting, and focus on nutrient-dense foods instead. If you focus on nutrient-dense foods, like you're loading up on vegetables and, and fruits, then you're going to lose weight because your body, you're going to be full because you have so much fiber in you and, and it will help you get thin. It's not about, it's not just about calories in and calories out. It's about fueling your body so that it can perform at peak performance, perform at peak performance. Anyway, you get my point. So you need to think of it this way. How you're eating now, doesn't it lead you feeling grumpy and tired and hungry all the time? Because you're so, your body's craving sugar because that's what it needs and wants. If you look at it the other way, it leads you to more stable blood sugar, a whole world of new foods that maybe you haven't tried before. Maybe you haven't tried eggplant or jicama or um, Brussels sprouts. Maybe you haven't even tried Brussels sprouts. It opens you up to a whole world of new foods, new experiences, things that you never would have considered in the past because it's not just a simple open up a can or a box and fix it. So that's my thoughts of the day for you. There's a garbage truck going by. Anyway, I hope you could hear me. I'm going to be cohesing all my, is that a word, cohesing? I'm going to be putting all my thoughts into my blog about how you can properly fuel your body, what exactly clean eating is, and the steps and rules on how to live with clean eating, make them a lifestyle, and not feel deprived. So, anyway, um, one day my lives will get better and more cohesive and more thought provoking and less random and helter skelter one day, but that's just how I am. I am a hot mess and you know what? That's how, that's who I am anyway. So anyway, thanks for watching. Look out for my blog later on today. Tomorrow I'm going to be in between my son's fifth grade promotion and getting them out the, my kids out the door to their grandparents. I'm going to be um, talking about Fun Food Fact Friday. What is the difference between ice cream, sherbet, is it sherbet or sherbert? Sherbert. And sorbet. 
and I'm gonna be trying to make a fruit sorbet for the very first time so stay tuned that's gonna be an exciting fun food fact Friday I can't wait because it's summer and we all like ice cream right uh, so anyway thanks for watching about my rules for clean eating and what is clean eating watch out for my blog with more descriptions about what I said and um, if you have anything that you would like me to create more healthy, your favorite food that you would like to create more healthy, please, please, please private message me, comment below. I have a passion for turning comfort foods into healthier alternatives. Um, anyway, that's all I have for you today. This is Coach Pam from Coach Pam Fitness. Have a fabulous Thursday and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.